This is your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, May 25, 2021. In mainstream news. CNBC reports. Morgan Stanley names stocks that will win as global shipping industry bounces back. High demand for shipping containers has created a sweet spot for the industry, according to analysts at Morgan Stanley, who expect three stocks in particular to fare well. The sector is emerging from one of the longest downturns in its history, and demand is set to grow 7.7% year-on-year in 2021, the bank estimated. It comes after the shipping industry was hit hard by the blockage in the Suez Canal, which at its peak saw around $9 billion worth of goods delayed every day, leading to a continued backlog in orders. Wall Street Journal reports, JD Logistics launches up to $3.4 billion Hong Kong IPO. The logistics arm of JD.com Inc. is looking to raise as much as $3.4 billion through an initial public offering in the latest Hong Kong listing linked to China's booming e-commerce market. The IPO could value JD Logistics Inc. at up to $34 billion, filings showed on Monday. It follows share sales in the city by JD.com and another of its subsidiaries last year, which in total raised nearly $8.5 billion, according to the logic. Supply chain Digital.com headline, Kainyao launches its first China-Hungary cargo flight. Kainyao, a Chinese logistics company and part of the Alibaba Group, has announced today that it has launched its first direct cargo flight between Zhengzhou in China and Budapest in Hungary. This is in response to surging demand in Eastern Europe, with the company saying it expects a 30% growth in its cross-border e-commerce volume between the two countries by the end of 2021. In logistics and transportation publications headlines, TransInfo reports on its front page, Europe's largest secure lorry park to be built in Denmark. Europe's largest secure lorry park is planned to be built in Denmark next to the E45 road. The parking area would accommodate 500 lorries and include many facilities, as well a hotel, to spend the weekly rest. The facility, which is scheduled to be located on the west side of the E45 highway exit between the highway and the west road, will allow long-distance drivers to legally hold their weekly mandatory 45-hour rest. In another headlines of Trans Info, RA, unemployed don't have £7,000 to train as lorry drivers. In an interview about the UK's lorry driver shortage, RA managing director Rod McKenzie has told BBC Radio Kent that small hauliers don't have the means to up wages, while the cost of training is preventing unemployed Brits from becoming professional truckers. TTnews.com headline, Maine's trucking industry turns to TikTok and appeal to Gen Z. The Maine Motor Transport Association is targeting Gen Z and other young workers with a video storytelling campaign aimed at filling shortages of truck drivers and technicians. MMTA plans to launch the Go Your Way campaign May 18 using TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram to educate and attract workers born in 1997 or after. Association CEO Brian Park said the industry needs to fill thousands of jobs over the next 10 years as current workers age out of the workforce. Inbound Logistics reports, the future of warehouse workers. Warehouse employment has reached new highs as e-commerce sales are higher than any previous point in time. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, total U.S. e-commerce sales for 2020 increased 32.4 percent from 2019. In comparison, total e-commerce sales in 2019 increased 14.9 percent from 2018. Logistics Manager headline, Amazon to open delivery station in Redditch. Amazon is opening a 107,639-foot square delivery station in Redditch which it will use to deliver parcels to local customers in the area. The facility comes with the promise of 40 permanent jobs in addition to the more than 100 driver opportunities for Amazon Logistics Delivery Service Partners and Amazon Flex Delivery Partners. The delivery station on Hedera Road, Moans Moat North is expected to be fully operational this autumn. This has been your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, May 25, 2021. If you want more global logistics news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.